When a person has no humility in life, it could destroy the way you see yourself. It could destroy the way you see other people. You can idolize yourself in a way, and when you do that, it takes your eyes off the Most High God. When you take your eyes off the Most High God, you stray away from Him, proving yourself untrustworthy, unfaithful to Him. And when you do that, you know, it inflates your ego. It makes you reckless. A reckless person has an inflated ego, and eventually that reckless person will a wreck, will get into a wreck. And I'm not saying like literally with a car, maybe for some people, but in really any way that God can humble you to deflate that ego. And when he humbles you, that's a perfect opportunity to come back to him. Because he'll never push you away in this life. He'll never turn away from you and never accept you back. If you come back re repenting and being sorry, genuinely sorry for what you did, he will accept you back every time. He will. But don't take him for a fool. He knows when you're playing him. He knows when you're going to play him. He knows all. He knows the truth. God knows the truth. Other people might not know the truth, but God knows the truth, and he's the only one that genuinely needs to know the truth in your life. It's nice to have other people to know the truth, but you always can't really rely on them like that. They don't see everything. You don't see everything. I don't see everything. God sees everything. That's the most important thing. God knows, and he sees everything. Remaining humble and patient, it will pay off for you in the long run. You might be having a bunch of tests right now, but in due time, on God's time, he'll put you where you need to be. On this side, sticking by him, because he's brought you through all these things. He'll continue to bring you through things. He keeps his promises. The Lord keeps his promises. That's all I really got on my mind to speak today.